Jeff Kirui KT News. Moving on, Interior Cabinet Secretary Kidure Kindiki has announced to the nation that in the last three months, his ministry has been able to bring down the crime rate by 13.5%. The Interior Cabinet Secretary further revealed the government's success in combating cattle rustling across the country as 60% of all livestock stolen in affected counties had been recovered by security officers. At the same time, a number of regions in the country are still experiencing cases of insecurity. A peace meeting has been held at Loruko between Harders of Samburu, Marsabit and Isiolo following the recent fights over the pasture with area leaders accusing each other of incitement. Also, tension is high at the border of Embu and Kiriyaga counties after two brothers were lynched by members of the Nyumbakumi in Gategi. Willy Lusige has more on Kindiki's 100-day security scorecard. A hundred days after he took over as the cabinet secretary in charge of interior security, Professor Kidure Kindiki is an optimistic man. While giving an update of his scorecard, Kindiki highlighting key achievements by the ministry. I have traversed Kenya in those hundred days to see for myself, to hear for myself from our fellow citizens what they go through every day. Among his top 10 achievements, the CS says that a broken down passport printer which made acquisition of e-passports a nightmare for Kenyans has been repaired. Also, the ministry has received 54,000, 34 page booklet for printing passports and that the ministry has set a target of tripling the number of Kenyans owning a passport from the current 3.5 million to 10 million within the next five years. The broken passport printer is now repaired. And we are in the process of acquiring a better and more efficient printer. He announced that in the last three months, his ministry has been able to bring crime down by 13.5%, including cases of mugging in Nairobi City. Urban crime, especially the Nairobi muggings that had threatened to disrupt our way of life and businesses in our capital city in the September-October season, has now been contained. The Interior CS further revealed the government's success in combating cattle rustling across the country. But I am glad to report that unlike in the past when recovery of stolen animals was minimal, we have been able to recover in bits and pieces approximately 60% of the stolen animals from the 10 most affected counties. Our security agencies are tracing the missing 40% of stolen livestock even as we continue to monitor the meat supply chain across urban areas in the country to disrupt the existing criminal food chain. 6,000 police officers who have joined the National Police Service this year will be deployed to reinforce security across the country. The CS noting that the new officers will be deployed to security hotspots across the country immediately. We have improved on our intelligence gathering to stay several steps ahead of the enemy. We are always aware that terrorists only need one lucky break to hurt our country and inflict us with pain. Contrary to Kindiki's scorecard, a number of regions in the country are still experiencing high cases of insecurity. <laughs> Tension is high at the border of Embu and Kirinyaga counties after two brothers were lynched by members of the Nyumbakumi in Gategi. According to the family members led by the deceased cousin Martin Maura, the two received an urgent call from their cousins who were going home to Kiamanyeki village in Kirinyaga from Beere side after a night party at around 2 a.m. when they were attacked by a group of people armed with bows and arrows. <laughs> Hizi nyumba kumi, wanafaa kuwa trained very well. Juhi jambu wakati itendeka, walikuwa within juhi. I was the first to arrive here. Angry residents of Kiamanyeki village destroyed a footbridge that Gategi residents use while crossing to Kirinyagam. We need cohesion between the two uh, provinces and counties. Fights for pasture among pastoralist communities from Samburu, Marsabit and Isiolo counties have intensified forcing leaders to hold a peace meeting at Loruko between three communities.
the best way to resolve uh, conflict and issues like that is to sit together na kuongea kama leaders sisi tumeongea na watu wetu leo tumewaambia sisi njia yetu ni njia ya amani a number of leaders calling on the Ministry of Interior to investigate some leaders accused of inciting Isiolo residents. Kama watu wetu wametuambia sasa nyinyi mnakuja kutuambia sisi maneno ya amani. Lakini amani e, shida yetu ya security ni ya ile upande. Tunataka kuwaomba hao leaders wa Isiolo. Tunataka kuwaomba kwa njia e, ya ukarimu kwamba tunataka kutafuta kikao na nyinyi to resolve hiyo issue. Wili Lusige Kitten News. Nairobi. Now, in his recent anti government.